Hello. Hello everyone, my name is Sneha Nguva and today I'm going to talk to you about Fibbit. A little background on myself, I have a technical background, I'm an engineer, um, but in the last year I've spent a lot of time volunteering in animal rescue, which, I, which is actually what inspired me to start working on Fibbit. Fibbit is essentially an intelligent health platform that allows pet owners to find a vet, book an appointment, and manage their pet's health. But if we take a step back and just look at the market, uh, in the United States alone, there's about 95 million cat owners, and, or cats, or yeah, and pet cats, not cats in general. There's a lot more of those. Um, and then 83 million pet dogs. If we look at New York alone, there's about 1.1 million pets, and New York pet owners are insane and spend about $1.5 billion a year on their pets. In case you're wondering, that's $1,350 per pet per year. The industry is also ridiculous. Um, there's numerous uh, pet tech startups, you know, wag.com, an online marketplace, pet health trackers, pet fitness trackers, like monthly subscription boxes filled with toys and snacks. However, the one thing that's missing and one thing that I found is that there isn't anything to sufficiently address concerns when it comes to uh, pet health. So three main questions I found in the time, in the last few months, I've spent a lot of time talking to pet owners, and I've discovered in general, the majority of them are really concerned about finding a good veterinarian. They don't really trust what they hear or read online, and they, they do a lot of research. On top of it, a lot of people, especially those with younger or older pets, want to organize their pet's medical records, but now they just shove it into folders. It's not the best way to do it. Additionally, um, I've noticed this, especially working in a lot of uh, low-income communities doing animal rescue, a lot of people love their pets but are unaware of resources that exist and uh, are, are even unaware that, for example, pet insurance exists. Only 1% of pets actually have coverage. So the solution, I believe, is Fibbit. So this is a very early stage um, prototype. You can actually go to getfibbit.com, two Bs, in case you're curious. Um, Right now, we're focusing on Manhattan, and pet owners can enter a variety of details. Like, for example, if they are looking for a veterinarian that's low cost and open 24 hours, they can do that. Um, we provide a lot of information, including pricing information. But in our next iteration, we hope to actually introduce bookings, so you can immediately book an appointment with your veterinarian right here. Also, uh, revenue model-wise, we're very similar to ZocDoc. I don't know if any of you are familiar with ZocDoc, but it's a B2B to C uh, subscription model. Basically, um, it's free for pet owners, but there's a monthly subscription fee for veterinarians. Um, and in general, we think that using this platform will actually increase the, a lot of the number of appointments veterinarians get, so they're very much incentivized. And in year one alone, with a tiered subscription model um, and about you know, 250 vets, used, which is about 50% of New York City, using uh, this platform, we could potentially make $600,000. So in, actually in a few days, we plan to launch the MVP, which is, um, as I showed you, the very simple prototype allowing Manhattanites to find veterinarians. We also have a content marketing blog with a lot of really interesting information about pet health, um, some stuff that isn't on other platforms as well. By September, we intend to introduce the booking system, get about 25 to, or 50 New York City vets. I also intend to leverage my animal rescue network, talk to all the vets I know, try to get more on board. And by February of next year, I intend to soft launch and uh, get about 250 to 500 veterinarians on board and incorporate an element that allows pet owners to actually access their pet's medical records. In the future, of course, we want to expand beyond New York City. We want to you know, go to LA. Uh, San Francisco, Chicago, also move into the suburbs. And one thing I definitely, um, I mean, what inspired me is I actually want to leverage uh, anonymized pet health data and try to look for patterns and predict, uh, you know, a variety of ailments. So if we look beyond the numbers and the stats, the, the reason I'm doing any of this is because I think though the U.S. has come far in terms of animal rights, we have quite a ways to go, especially when it comes to animal health. It's a highly unregulated industry in general, and there's a lot of asymmetric information between pet owners and veterinarians, 
And th I, that is essentially what Fibbit aims to do. And I hope that just by doing that alone, it will uh, make it a little bit easier for people who love their animals to find appropriate medical care. Thank you. Question for Sneha before we bring the rest of the group. And if the rest of the group could get ready to go back up there. Question for Sneha. Okay, just first off, great job. I think this has potential to be a very real mega big business. Uh, how are you tackling the customer acquisition part of the business? Yes. Yeah, as I mentioned, we currently have a content marketing blog, and with about like very actually no effort whatsoever, uh, we've gotten about 500 views from like two posts. So that's one huge area. There's also a lot of um, pet owner like meetups, Facebook groups, um, and whatnot in New York. So definitely going to leverage those networks that I regularly communicate with. Additionally, um, due to the fact that I do a lot of animal rescue, I know a lot of rescue groups um, and can get in touch with owners who are just adopting new animals. So that's like a great way to help people out who aren't too familiar with uh, the veterinary scene as well. Mm -hmm. That's great starting points. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Mm -hmm. So if we could, if we could 